Tesla Vans is the latest model announced by Elon Musk in the new lineup from the manufacturer. It may arrive right after the robo-taxi and affordable car, as several conditions for production have been met, particularly with a battery pack already revealed. Furthermore, Musk seems to have intentions of transforming the Tesla van into a motorhome based on what's already been shared about this vehicle. If it debuts in 2025, it will undoubtedly be a masterpiece. We'll get into that right now. Tesla Van Battery Pack and Production Plan Before discussing the production plans, it's clear we need to start with Elon Musk's past ideas for Tesla Van. You might not know this, but Elon has been hinting at developing a Tesla van for the past eight years. In his Master Plan Part 2 in 2016, he wrote that in addition to consumer vehicles, there are two other types of electric vehicles needed, heavy-duty trucks and high-passenger-density urban transport. Both were in the early stages of development at Tesla and were expected to be ready for unveiling the following year. Musk fulfilled this promise by launching the Tesla Semi in 2017. So where has the Tesla van been from 2017 until now? Clearly, it was put on hold because of the Tesla Semi, and it wasn't until 2023 that the Tesla van made a comeback. The appearance of a Tesla van for the first time was during the 2023 Investor Day presentation. It's not too hard to see that under the cover was a commercial passenger van, which makes the most sense. But if you think it's a different type of vehicle, please let us know in the comments. Later, the leaked Tesla Master Plan 3 provided further evidence that Elon is indeed developing a Tesla van for Tesla's lineup, especially since this segment is still missing from his collection. Specifically, in Tesla Master Plan 3, details indicate that the Tesla van is going to have a global fleet of 163 million, with total vehicle sales of 10 million units. But that's not even the most notable part. Tesla's van is going to use a type of battery described as high nickel, meaning the 4680 battery with 81% nickel content and the NMC 811 cathode. It's not too surprising that it will also have a significantly large battery pack of 100 kWh, nearly the same size as Cybertrucks. You might be wondering why the battery pack is smaller than Cybertrucks when Tesla vans are significantly heavier than the Cybertruck. Rest assured, we'll explain this. We initially thought all the leaks from Tesla Investor Day 2023 and the master plan were just projected plans for the Tesla van, which would take a long time to hit the market and wouldn't be mentioned in 2024. But we were wrong. Tesla van was once again featured on the slideshow at the recent Tesla shareholder meeting to suggest that production is very close and Tesla has not abandoned it. We are fully confident that it could debut as a prototype in 2025 and gradually ramp up production afterward. The reason is that the 4680 battery has achieved large-scale production and success. If we were to choose a Tesla van factory, the ideal place to make these passenger vehicles would be the new semi-factory next to Giga Nevada, which is scheduled to finish up next year and be a facility dedicated to making electric trucks. Remember, the Tesla van and Semi can share the same platform, and putting the van on the same line as the big rig is totally feasible. At least a few Tesla van concepts have proven this. Tesla van design and exterior. What if the Tesla van was a super motor home or an impressive tiny house Tesla? That might sound crazy, but when you look at the concepts that have been introduced, you'll see this is entirely possible. As we mentioned, Tesla van is likely to share its platform with the Semi, so it's understandable it would inherit many design elements from the heavy-duty truck. The Semi is currently the electric truck with the longest range in the world, featuring a drag coefficient of just 0.22 and the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds. Applying these designs to the Tesla van would not only enhance aerodynamic efficiency, but also improve overall performance. Now in terms of design, Tesla's van is going to look like a mini semi with the front of the vehicle, including headlights, vents, wipers, mirrors, and a large windshield, all similar to the semi-truck up to 
if we compare it with the Ford Transit electric van or Amazon's Rivian vans, we can see that the vehicle lines retain the typical design features of the manufacturer. Therefore, it's inevitable that Tesla's van has a typical Tesla design, and Tesla doesn't have to spend too much effort to start the design from scratch. While many people think service and passenger vehicles are often minimalist in exterior design to focus on the interior experience, Tesla has always focused on both. Even the semi, which is only used to transport freight, still has a pretty impressive exterior design. The dimensions of the Tesla van will be smaller than the semi, with an estimated overall length of around 225 inches, a height of 85 inches, and a width of 80 inches. However, these specs are only average estimates. Some speculate that the Tesla van could use stainless steel, but it's unlikely because it would add weight and be more difficult to manufacture. To avoid the production hell that happened with Cybertruck, the Tesla van will probably use an aluminum frame and lighter composite panels, similar to the Semi. Tesla van will also likely have five doors, with two traditional doors for the driver's area and two sliding ones for the passengers. This design makes getting in and out of the vehicle easier, especially for the elderly kids and people with disabilities. As Elon mentioned in the Tesla 2021 all-hands meeting and was quoted by ex-user Sawyer Merritt, RoboVan in the future will address people with disabilities. And finally, the rear door at the rear of the vehicle will be mainly for moving cargo outside easily. If the Tesla van is put into production with a high resemblance to the concept image, the window design in the passenger compartment will also be very unique featuring parallelogram-shaped windows instead of the traditional rectangular ones. This design not only gives the Tesla van a distinctive look, but also makes it easier to identify from a distance. Even if Tesla van does not resemble the rendered images that have been posted, it's still going to be easy to guess that the exterior of this Tesla motor home is designed in a minimalist fashion. Although it doesn't feature many complex details, this approach clearly offers at least three benefits. First, the minimalist design makes the vehicle look more modern while also improving technical specifications. And most importantly, it cuts production costs and minimizes the need for extensive redesigns, making Tesla's van more practical and feasible for a 2025 release. Now let's get back to the question of why we dare claim Tesla van is going to be a superior motor home and whether it will perform well with a 100 kWh battery pack despite being significantly heavier than Cybertruck. Tesla van interior, what's inside? Clearly Tesla van is described by Elon as high passenger density urban transport, which means it'll accommodate more passengers than a typical Tesla. Currently, Model X can carry up to seven adults with its seven seats, so Tesla's van could potentially double this number to allow for 15 people inside. This is not surprising as the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van and a couple of other vehicles also hit similar passenger capacities. The max payload could be around 6,000 pounds or more, but it largely depends on the type of battery Tesla ultimately chooses for this model. Of course, this assumes Tesla's van is used for passenger transport. We believe Tesla van is highly likely to offer interior options for three main purposes – passenger transport, cargo transport, and camping. As seen in the concept, it provides a detailed look at a Tesla van specifically designed for camping, with an interior built to resemble a motor home by up to 85%. It also features two driver seats and a rotating passenger seat, replacing the traditional seats with two luxurious white bench seats in the center of the passenger compartment, a table, warm synthetic wood floors, built-in shelves, and a big screen where passengers can check out movies, news, or just stream media. According to this concept, the owner describes the inside of Tesla van as endless entertainment, with an integrated multimedia system featuring an HD screen, premium sound system, and streaming capabilities, perfect for movie nights or relaxing with your favorite music. If only Tesla van could deliver these things, we are confident we'd be looking at a masterpiece. Not only that, 
Tesla van is also considered a relaxation zone, where you can create your own relaxation oasis with adjustable lighting and seating configurations. Whether you're reading a book, meditating, or simply enjoying the view, you're not going to have to worry about losing internet when leaving home. As Tesla's van perfectly solves this issue with integrated Starlink, the Tesla van ensures your devices and phones stay connected even in areas with the weakest signal. The best thing is, you can access the internet completely free and without limits, always staying connected no matter where you go. With a range of utilities and interior decorations similar to the concept, this is why we believe Tesla van is going to be a super motor home to impress anyone at first look. However, if the Tesla van camper variant is indeed released or becomes an option, it could quite possibly become the most expensive variant, potentially exceeding $90,000, considering such a significant interior investment. Clearly, this would be worth it. So how about what's in the Tesla van and how it's specialized for cargo transport? Additionally, UPS uses numerous electric vans from arrival, and FedEx also favors this type of vehicle. Clearly, the launch of Tesla van is going to attract the attention of dozens if not hundreds of companies, as Elon Musk always integrates premium features and special technology into his models. For example, the Semi received a massive number of orders due to its enormous cost-saving potential, as Elon mentioned that the Tesla Semi will save $200,000 in fuel costs in three years. Tesla van, in this case, will continue to evolve its most amazing features for transportation. To reduce unnecessary weight, Tesla van will likely remove all seats and replace them with a cargo compartment in the rear for transporting large items. It will feature reinforced walls, tie-down straps, and a flat floor for easy loading and unloading. Additionally, Tesla's van will have a set of intelligent sensors to monitor cargo conditions. If there is a movement in the trunk, or if an object is moved out of place, the vehicle will notify the driver immediately via the app and also offer real-time tracking. If Tesla van's main purpose is to carry people, this could become the safest vehicle in the world. The remaining question that you probably want to know is how much mileage Tesla van can cover if it's heavier than Cybertruck yet still equipped with a 100 kWh battery pack. According to estimates, this number is around 200 miles if it is fully loaded with a max payload of around 6,000 pounds. Although it sounds like an acceptable range, it's really only good for city transport and short trips. But don't worry, if Tesla van is used for camping or something similar, it can go further. If you want more range, adding a second battery pack to double the range to 400 miles is a great idea. Of course, doing so will increase the weight of Tesla's van, but by replacing the traditional seats with lighter ones, it is feasible to solve this problem. Even if these features aren't equipped, the Tesla van is still set to be impressive at first sight. Some will choose Tesla van for family use, while some companies will choose it for transporting large volumes of goods and people, as it saves a huge amount of operating costs. We believe Tesla van has the potential to be an extraordinary motorhome that would leave the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and Rivian van in the dust.